We have studied matter and we mentioned that matter is anything that has mass and can occupy space. We mentioned that the states of matter include solids, liquids and gases. And we looked at examples under each of them. Like for solids, we looked at bricks, we looked at chairs, we looked at the car. And then when we look at liquids, we, we spoke about the swimming pool, we mentioned the drinks. And then for gases, we mentioned air. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the particles that make up matter. So we'll be looking at when you take, for example, a solid like bricks, what are the things that they are composed of? Now, by the end of the lesson, we expect that as a student, you should be able to identify the particles that make up matter. And then you should be able to list the characteristics of the states of matter. Now, let's look at the particles that make up matter. One of the particles that make up matter is the atom. Now, we say that the atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. So, the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. Now, when we look at an element, most of the matter are composed of small, tiny particles known as elements that combine to form them. So we are seeing the smallest particle of that element, which can usually take part in a chemical reaction, is the atom. Now, another particle that we can find in the matter is the molecules. Now, molecules are groups of atoms that are chemically charged, or they are chemically bonded together, held together by a bond. So for example, water. Water is consisting of molecules of hydrogen and oxygen bonded together. So molecules are a group of atoms that are held together by a chemical bond. And then we also have ion. Now ions are also chemical particles of an atom form when the atom loses or gains electron. So when the atom loses or gains electron, it forms what we call an ion. So ions are charged particles of an atom formed when an atom loses or gains an electron. So the particles that make up matter include atoms, molecules, and ions. Now when we look at solids, what are their characteristics? Now solid particles are particles that are closely packed together. So they are arranged together, closely packed. Now it has a fixed shape. It also has a fixed volume. They have high density. And then they cannot flow, like liquids that flow, solids cannot flow. And then it is not easily compressible. So for example, when you take a block, you can say that you can easily compress the block and get something very little because their particles are very closely packed. Now let's look at liquids. The particles of liquids are wider apart as compared to solids. So when you compare the particles of solids to liquids, then you will say that liquids have a little bit of a wider apart particles when you compare them to solids. Now, particles of liquids are also a little bit closely packed together when you compare them to gases. So for gases, they are wide apart particles, but liquids, when you compare them to gases, you will see that they are closely packed. But then when you are comparing them to solids, you will see that they are wider apart. Now it has a fixed volume. So that is why you can calculate the volume of water, the volume of liquids, and get a specific known volume. But then it doesn't have a fixed shape. What it does is that it takes the shape of the container. So when it is placed in a container, so a container like this, it takes the shape of that container. And then it can flow easily. Now, for gases, their particles are wider apart. And then gases do not have fixed shape. Gases do not have fixed volume. But then they are compressible. And then they have very low densities. So in today's lesson, we have looked at the particles that make up matter. We said that the particles are atoms, molecules, and ions. And then we have looked at the characteristics of solids liquids, and gases. In our next lesson, we will be looking at the importance of some specific materials 
that are made up of matter or that consists of different matter in our daily life. See you in the next lesson.